This is Sims, and we are back with more Lover Pretend continuing Riku's route. I should have recorded this yesterday, but I didn't because I was starving to death. So, that was fun. Just figured I'd share that. Not that it matters, but anyway. <laughs> I'm like one part behind my goal for this week. Damn it, it's fine. <laughs> Listen, the grind is real. When you're like, I'm not going to be able to record for like two weeks and there's going to be like two days in between that I might be able, but it's going to be like a lot, like I'm so far ahead right now. And yet I know as soon as like all the stuff I need to do gets done, I'm going to come back and be like, fuck, I'm like maybe two weeks ahead if I really push it. It sucks, man. You're like, I did all this work for nothing. Not really for nothing, but you know what I mean? Just to be like, fuck, now we're behind again. Crap. It's all right. Two weeks ahead isn't so bad. I'm just trying to make sure I stay at least that far so that I'm not like, shit, I'm only two days ahead and I got to, you know what I mean? I want to stress myself out. I'm not stressed about this, by the way. Like, I'm fine. I'm just, I, I'm pre-stressing for me in like a week or so. When, like, the cutoff comes for me being able to do anything. I'm like, oh my god, then I'll be... It's actually more like two weeks? Yeah, I'm I'm stressing now for two weeks from now me. Who will probably be like, I was totally fine. That one episode didn't make a difference. Oh. I... <laughs> the one time I'm not putting it on future me and being like, that's future me's problem. I'm like, no, this is me now problem. So future me can, like, not be pissed at past me. As usual. You know, future you is always pissed at past you for, like, not putting your socks right side in when you put them in the laundry. So that when you do the laundry, future you doesn't have to turn them right side in for you, you asshole! <laughs> anyway. Uh, oh, crazy today. Anyway. Uh, we had just had Hot Pot with Riku, right? Is that what we did the last time? I believe so. Wow, dishwashers are so handy. They are. I wish I could get one someday. I'm just saying, having one is amazing. And then when you have something that's like hand wash, you're like, damn it! <laughs> like a disappointment. I turned on the barely used dishwasher and finished cleaning the dishes. Also, I'm sorry, but that Dawn Power Wash shit is fucking amazing. I'm a pimp it. I've pimped it on Twitter because, like, my mom kept telling me about it. Did I already pimp this to you? Did I? I can't. I'm that, I'm that old that, like, dishwashing soap is, like, amazing. Like, you normally use, like, you know, your dish liquid when you have to hand wash a dish. But this shit is, like, I had, like, a jar, like a pot, uh, like a pitcher, that stained as motherfucking hell from the coffee that I keep putting in there. So, like, it's stained. You just spray that shit in there, let it sit for a few minutes, rinse it out, and you're like, it's, like, brand fucking new. What the shit? What the shit? And if you just used your normal dish soap and you scrub that, you'd be like, eh, it's still kind of stained looking, but whatever. No, this shit is like fucking made with unicorns. I don't know what Dawn did, who soul they sold to Satan to be able to get this kind of cleaning power. What kind of cancer I'm going to get from this shit. I don't know, but it's amazing. It's, it's like, you don't have to actually wash anything. You just spray it on, rinse it, and you're good. <laughs> There's no elbow grease anymore is all I'm saying. Do not have to put elbow grease in on this, and it's fucking the best. Because that I'm lazy. I don't want to put elbow grease in. I want something I can easily clean, and this shit's amazing. If you can't put stuff in the dishwasher. Anyway, also, even if I put that pitcher in the dishwasher, it's still, like, stained. You know what I mean? Because it's coffee. But, like, whatever's in that Dawn shit, I, I don't know. Stained. So. After that... <laughs> What even is this episode? I'm sorry. After that, I prepared two cups of tea for us and took them out to Riku. By the way, about the theater tickets... Sleeping already. Oh no, he's awake! Oh yeah, you got them right. Thanks. It was my first time and I got really nervous when I had to make up passwords and pass all the CAPTCHA stuff. Yeah, I'm always af I bet Riku's always afraid of that because it's like he has to click I'm not a robot and he has to lie. Eh, fuck it, he's good at lying. Your first time... You've never bought tickets for a show before? 
No, I only ever go to the movie theaters, and even then I don't go very often. Why? You're working to be a screenwriter, and don't you need to see what's out there? That's actually very smart. Riku peered at me through his half-closed eyes, and I smiled awkwardly. It costs too much money. Watching movies on TV only costs me electricity, which is also money! I go to the movies once every couple of months as a treat, but only when they have discounts, like Ladies' Day. I was shocked when I bought the tickets. There were more zeros than I'd expected. I sighed heavily. Okay, here's the weird thing. You did all that online, but Riku gave you cash. Did you deposit that cash and then do- You know what I mean? I thought we were going to go to, like, the ticket booth, and it was going to be like, what is this, like, 1952? Gotta, like, drive to the ticket booth and buy it? You know, I'm doing it online? You know what I'm saying? Because he handed us cash. What if- She's like, I'm still trying to figure out how to put the cash in my computer to pay for shit. You know? <laughs> I sighed heavily. You must like money quite a lot. Um, yeah. I, li I think everybody likes money. Because when you don't have it, it's stressful. So having it is nice. I say that. And like, I just bought something. <laughs> huh? <laughs> Look, looks a computer. Not you! Well, you were expensive. But not a replacement. You better keep working. My gaze immediately locked on Riku. His eyes were narrowed and he glared at me in intensely. What do you mean by that? Exactly what I said. You say you have a dream, but all you ever worry about is money. Yeah, because I don't have money. What am I supposed to do? I need savings in case anything happens. But I'm not afraid of spending money if I need to. If you need to. Yeah, I mean, this is so funny that he's like, Oh, you must really like money. Are you just after me for my money? And it's like, I valid concern, Riku, but... What, where the hell is this coming? This is gonna. This is the conflict. This is the conflict that's gonna come out at the eleventh hour. That makes no fucking sense. What was it in Sano's route that made no sense? Why can't I remember that? I'm just. I'm either just stupid today, because I'm drawing a blank, or it just wasn't as inherently dumb as Kazuma being like, "I'm just a selfish bastard," and you're like, "What the hell? Where did this come from?" What? Like, you, huh? Or Makino's dad being like, I hate anime! Throw it all away! Actually, I wish I could have directed an anime, but I never could. Like, what the f What? What the shit? I mean, crushing your son's dream and being like, no, God, anime's stupid. Fine, but you wouldn't try to throw out all of his stuff. Like, you know what I mean? So, like, but I can't remember in Sena's route what made no goddamn sense. Aside from- okay. But it's still not nearly as bad as the other two, but what's her face? Being in love with Sena and him being like, yeah, not interested! And then her refusing to take no for an answer, and then him being like, yeah, no, I'm never gonna love you. And then her breaking- and it's like, pretty sure that was clear? Why is everybody dumb about this? Everyone handled that whole thing stupidly. You know what I mean? Like, she was being crazy, and like- not taking no for an answer, like, hello, psycho. We were like, I feel for her, instead of being like, listen, girl! He said no! And then you could be friends with her after, that's fine. You know, once she gets her fucking head on straight, or and pulls it out of her ass. And then Sena maybe avoided it, but when he tells her, I have a girlfriend, sorry, not interested, that should have been enough for her. Like, I don't know, that whole thing was stupid. But it wasn't nearly as bad as the other two, where they made literally no sense. This was like... This was just poorly scripted. Like, you know what I mean? But, like, for Riku, so far nothing has been completely stupid. I guess I should have seen this coming, though. Because, one, we need to have something that completely makes no goddamn sense in this game. Like, they tried. I'll give them credit. They were like, we need to have something. What can we have? Not a misunderstanding. Oh, oh, oh! How about something that makes no sense? You know, what you get for letting Tim and Ronald come up with scenarios is all I'm saying. But I should have seen the Riku thing coming, mostly because if this is what it's going to be, because he's been like, wow, you're a cheapskate. You're a che he keeps throwing that around there because he doesn't understand normal people's money problems. And now he's going to be like, you're a gold digger. And it's like, because I want to be able to pay my bills. 
I only bring an X amount of money. I'm by myself and I have to pay for rent, food, electric, and all that. I don't make as much money as you, so it's harder for me. I have to budget. You don't have that problem. Maybe you should learn what bananas actually cost, Lucille, before you decide to quit your acting job. <laughs> I can't say the word bananas without me thinking of the banana stand or what does a banana cost? $10? I can't. I feel like there's a lot of shit out there that you can't say without it somehow leading to an Arrested Development reference. And if you've never seen that show, I'd say I highly suggest watching it, but I'm pretty sure it's off Netflix now or it's leaving Netflix, which seems really fucking stupid considering the fact that Netflix made the fifth season, I think, or was it the fourth? I don't really remember. Um, fourth or fifth. Whichever one the last one was. So Netflix, that's the only one that's going to be on. But that's the one that kind of sucks. The earlier ones are better. You know what I mean? Like Netflix tried. They tried. And I don't hate the last season for what it, what Netflix tried to do. Like, but it is kind of awful. You know what I mean? You're like, when you compare it to original Arrested Development, you're like, this is trash. But when you just take it for what it is, you're like, it's not. I, I see what you were going for. And it's one of those, like, I love the cast and everything like that. So, like, I don't hate watching it. It's not like the ninth season of Scrubs where you're like, we're just going to pretend that didn't exist because fuck this bullshit. That was stupid. At least with Arrested Development, it was the same people. You know what I mean? But it's supposed to take place right after the end of the prior season. And it's been like 10 fucking years. And Portia de Rossi is a totally different fucking face. <laughs> Literally, she had so much plastic surgery, she had a different face. It was a little fucking weird. But anyway. You could totally not watch that season. But that's the only one on Netflix. So. Which is dumb. I don't understand how they got rid of the licensing for it. When they uh, own the last season, it just doesn't fuck. You're like, seriously? I don't... So maybe it'll be on, like, Hulu or something. Who knows? But anyway. <sighs> we really can't get through, like, two minutes. But I, I just... If he starts talking about money and this is the big thing, it's going to make no sense. Because, like, it... You cannot be that detached. You are not... That, I mean, how are you really that rich? Actually, I mean, I guess I could see them it making kind of sense because he's always had money because he grew up with money because his father had it. You know what I mean? And then he went into acting. He's always had money, so he's never had to want for anything. He could always just throw money around. And he wants to go and do more of the stage production or like the prop stuff, whatever, where he's going to make significantly less right? And he wants to quit acting. We're like, I'm getting paid a metric fuck ton just to look pretty, you know? And he's got this natural talent, so, like, of course he's making a fuck ton of money. You know, he's never had to struggle. Now he's gonna go into something where he's gonna have to struggle and try, which he seems like, yeah, I want that! And then it's gonna be like, oh, and by the way, you're not getting the same fucking paycheck. Try 10% of what you were making, maybe, if you're lucky. You know what I mean? That, that might be a stretch, but you know what I mean? Like, you're not making millions of dollars per freaking show you're on. You're making next to nothing over here, like the rest of us schlubs. So, actually, this isn't a bad conflict to have, to be like, you need to understand what it's like to not have money, so here you go. Wash your own damn dishes, do this, live like a normal fucking person. But that could be really good if they handle it well. But I don't know if they will. But then again, Riku's a robot, so anything could go and it might still work. I don't know. We'll see. If you need to. So to you, engagement rings and trips to the theater aren't worth spending money on. I never said that. I can understand why you want to see the musical and bought the tickets. And you invited me so I can learn more about writing. I'm really grateful that you did and... I just thought we should at least go on a proper date since we're engaged. Why does he keep saying we're engaged? He was only my fake fiancé, right? Like, all of a sudden, he's like, no, we really are engaged. Ah, oh, Riku, are you okay? It's like the robot's malfunctioning. Once this was all over, we'd be strangers again. We were only to get- we were together only for this plan. 
But none of that mattered when we were just enjoying each other's company earlier. It doesn't matter. You don't have to force yourself. I'm sorry I dragged you into this. Go and enjoy your date at the amusement park. Fucking jealous, Mom? Why would you mention that? It has nothing to do with this. Give me the tickets once you get them. You don't have to come with me. His dismissive remark hurt, and I bit my lip hard. Hey, if you say so. No, this is why you argue back, and you're like, what the hell is your problem? Like, he's being very, like, again, this isn't, I mean, he's being a very not normal person, but Riku's not a normal person, so. As much as I want to be like, this doesn't make any fucking sense in a normal human relationship, friend or otherwise, Riku is not a normal human. Because normally you'd be like, oh yeah, I don't have money to spend on these things, and then they'd be like, huh, oh, Really? You don't have- not- Oh! What? So doing this stuff isn't good enough for you? Go have fun on your date with someone else! You know what I mean? He's acting irrational because he's jealous, but I don't think he knows that he's jealous. So, alright. I'll give it a pass. Because, like, when you're jealous and whatever, you start acting irrational, and that's kind of what's happening here, so. I left it at that, gathered my things, and hurried out of his apartment. Why did he get upset all of a sudden? I knew I was overly conscious about money. But with no family to rely on and no full-time job to keep me stable, I had to be careful. Exactly. I thought he understood that. Nah, he doesn't understand. He's a fucking robot and he's always had money. And you know what I mean? Like, I don't think he... Yeah. But the thing is, he's not trying or asking questions. He's just... Oh, what? Buying engagement rings is stupid to you? But I have a feeling it's the... The things he wants to do. He wants to get you a nice ring and you're like, no, it'd be more practical if we got a smaller one. And then the movie ticket tickets, but then you're going to go on a date with Sana. Like, that's where he's going. Like, these are things I'm giving to you, but that's not good enough, but you'll go to the amusement park with someone else. Even though, like, those two things don't connect. I mean, the, like, I like you, but I don't realize it. But he's equating, like, you not wanting to spend a ton of money. Valid. To, oh, but you'll go on a date with someone else who's paying for everything? You know what I mean? Like, It's not like we're being like, nah, I don't want to go with you. I want to go with Sena where then you're jealous. Like, you're equating being frugal and be and thinking that, that, but now you're mad because I'm going out with someone. But I'm not buying the tickets. It's not like you're saying, oh, but you'll spend money on that. You know what I mean? Like, he knows damn well Sena's buying the tickets. So it's like, he's making weird false equations in his head. God damn it, robot. I expect you to be able to do math. <laughs> An awful ache welled up inside me and I squeezed my hands together. Suddenly, my phone vibrated to tell me I got a ring message. It's not him. Yay! I'm excited for our date on Thursday. Dance, dance! The little dancing chicken thing. I don't even know what that thing is, but it's cute. He's excited? I'd said I was excited when Riku invited me to the show. I'd lied and said it was because I was his fiance. That's not true. The word excited had just come out on its own. I was surprised I'd even said it. But in truth, Riku might have thought I was too I was too much trouble. Maybe he thought I'd fallen for him. But he doesn't want that. He never asked for it. That was why I'd made excuses and Riku would seem satisfied. He doesn't really want Spacey Ueda. Yes, he does. He only wanted a fake fiance been enjoying myself, forgetting all about that. But see, I like this. She's like, oh, he must think I'm getting attached to him and I'm not. And it's like, no, he's mad because you're not getting attached to him. And he doesn't realize that's what he wants for you to get attached to him because he's getting attached to you. Like, this makes sense. This like weird, this makes sense. <laughs> How could I have been so conceited? But again, all it takes is communication, but we're not going to do that because, you know, we gotta have some drama, but this drama makes sense. Oh, I'm getting too close, and he doesn't want that. And then, meanwhile, he's jealous because we're going to the amusement park with someone else, despite the fact that he told us to. But, again, this is why communication is important, people. Don't tell your boyfriend, no, it's fine, go on a date with another girl. Because then he's gonna go on a date with another girl. Because people are dumb. You know what I mean? Like, listen, Riku, don't be like, no, it's fine, you should totally go have fun with Sana. Oh, uh, okay. 
especially when you're good at acting. If you're shitty at acting, oh, okay, like, whatever, I guess, fine, go out with Becky, you asshole. I think they'd get that you didn't like it, but when you're like, oh, I think it'd be a great idea. She's not gonna get it, Riku! Stop it! <laughs> like, you're too good at being a robot and pretending. Like, actually, you know? Of course we're not gonna know that you were being sarcastic. Well, I don't think he knew he was being, you know what I mean? He wasn't being sarcastic, but you know what I mean. Even after several days, the rift between us remained. It didn't mean I was allowed to give up on my work, though. I still had to fulfill my duties as his assistant. Days passed, and eventually Thursday came. Day of my date with Sena. That afternoon, I followed Riku around at work, although I felt uneasy. Nishijima, I'll see you at the next shoot. Thanks for today. Likewise, thank you for your hard work. After Riku changed and said goodbye to various staff members, he's made a, he made his way around to me. He's back in business mode. Another busy day. Would you like some tea? Sure, thanks. I like how he can just turn it off. Like, he's so good that he's just like, bink! Shut down, you're just a normal person now. Also, here are the tickets for the musical. Thanks. Riku glanced down and took the envelope with the tickets from my hand. Oh, look at his little pony sad face. He's sad because he wanted you to go. And then he said, you don't have to go. And then you weren't like, but I wanted to go. You were like, okay, fine. And now he's sad. Oh, because he doesn't know how to human and communicate. Oh. Neither do we. Because again, it would have been like, you don't have to go. But I wanted to go. You know what I mean? But it's the way he said it instead of being like, you know what I mean? Like. Because we don't know each other well enough to, like, be able to do that like a normal person would. Like, you don't have to go, but I want to. Or like, okay, cool. And then you're, they're like, oh. <laughs> you don't have to go. Is like a way to let someone off the hook. And then when they're like, no, but I want to. Okay, cool. You know? Then you know that they want to go. And then we're like, alright, fine. And they don't go, then you're like, oh, ouch. <laughs> So he was, like, pushing us away, and we're like, cool, bye. And we just totally rejected him. <laughs> He's still being highly illogical with his equating things together, but, again, I think it's because he doesn't know how to actually have feelings for another person for real Z's. So I don't think he knows what's happening to him, which is kind of annoying, because it's gonna, like, make the dumbest fucking, like ball out here, but it's kind of adorable, because he's a little robot, he doesn't know what feelings are. How cute! I mean, he knows what how to fake feelings, but he doesn't know what real feelings are, which is kind of adorable. He should kind of be able to figure it out, but I guess he's still mad. I ignored the tense atmosphere and bowed my head. Well, if that's all for today... Spacey... Hey, Nishijima, there you are! I'm taking everyone out for dinner. You should come. Bring your assistant, too. Oh, but I... We're leaving soon, so wait for me at the gate. It's gonna be great. I waited until the other cast members left and looked down at my watch. Am I gonna make it? You should leave. You have a date, right? With Sena? Are you sure? Yeah, I'll let, just the... I'll let the director know. Enjoy your date. Okay, thanks for helping me out. Goodbye. And that was an awkward conversation. She's like, you should just go enjoy your date. And we're like, okay, bye! Girl. Girl! I shouldn't have to read people either. We're both morons. I kind of like it. I gave him a small nod and then left without looking at his face. Oh, and you're going to see he's sad. Enjoy my date. I hate myself. Why am I getting caught up on some little thing he said? I held in the side, desperately trying to escape and started walking faster. It's also that, like, this is typical rom-com angst, where he's like, yeah, go, oh, yeah, no, and enjoy your date with Sena, and you're like, okay, thanks! And then you're like, why did he wish me? I wanted him to stop me! And he's like, why did she go? <laughs> like, both morons. I love it. There's no point in stewing over it. I need to focus on my date with Sena. I have no idea why it just paused on his half of his face like that. It was so strange. There he is. Is he gonna come spy? Zena's magazine shoot was taking longer than expected, and since his studio was close to where Riku worked, I went to pick him up. 
How cute we're picking him up. Oh yeah, Sato, that's nice. Oh, okay, this time try glaring at the camera. Wow, he's incredible. I couldn't help but whisper that out loud. The Sato I knew was usually so laid back. His character had completely changed when he was acting. This was similar, but on another level. This was Sena the model. Now that's a pro now that's a professional. As I admire Sena's work, the photographer took the last few photos and finished the session. I waited while the crew discussed the, the crew discussed the photos they'd just taken, then gave Sena the clear to leave. Sena noticed I was there and bounded over right away. Sorry, honey. Did you have to wait long? Sena, not at all. I just got here. Sena cheerfully rushed toward me. I'm really sorry about this. It was supposed to be finished ages ago. Don't worry about it. I've never seen a magazine photo shoot before, so it was very educational. <laughs> educational? You're always so serious, aren't you? And maybe you'll be a photographer. Or an editor. Oh, how about becoming a model? Never. <laughs> Dana's smile was blinding, and I instinctively squinted. So, shall we go to the amusement park now? I didn't really think about it, but is it alright for him to go uh, to go on such a public date? Hmm, it's still a bit early, so how about we get a bite to eat first? Oh, sure. I still need to change and clean up, so wait for me just a little longer, okay? We're going to his favorite bar! Oh my god, is he going to buy us a grass? Eventually, Sena took me to a bar where he was a regular. The food's good here, so order anything you like. Okay. What's wrong? I can't be... Are you nervous? I've never been to a bar before. Aw, that's adorable. It's a members-only bar, so you won't find any sleazes here. And you don't have to drink if you don't want to. Really? Yep. Lots of celebs come here for a bite because they know no one will make a scene. And that's part of the reason it's open during the day like this. Wow, you learn something new every day. Pfft, deal with the learning. <laughs> You're Nishijima's assistant, right? And doesn't he ever take you to places like this? Oh, he doesn't eat out, out very often. Hmm. Why does it feel like he's judging Riku? I feel like Sana knows some shit's up. Because he's not as stupid as he acts, you know what I mean? So, how long have you been his assistant? Since last, late September, I think? Last September, no, late September. So a month after the audition camp. Huh? No, that's when he agreed to act as his fiance. I got confused. That's a much bigger thing. But it's not like Sane is going to check, right? I should just keep talking. Y yep, I thought about declining at first. But Professor Asagi was focusing on his writing, and I had less movie-related work, so I was looking for a part-time job. I ended up doing this instead. I see. So Nishijima asked you. Yeah, I thought I could learn from the experience, and Professor Asagi recommended I do it. Oh, do it too. Professor Asagi, huh? It's like he's taking it all in instead of like, it's, there's something like, you know what I mean? So be like, oh, okay, blah, blah, blah. It's like, Professor Asagi, huh? Really? Huh? So Nishijima asked you. Like, he's just... You're putting too much thought into this, Sena. What the fuck? And you're still helping him out, too, right? Yeah. Unless he's like, listen, I didn't want to go on a date. I just want to know about the movie. Has he shown you the script and stuff? No, not yet. He'll let me proofread it once more of it's done, though. Cool. I hear the cast will be announced soon. I don't know who it'll be, so I'm just as nervous about it as the actors. Yeah... Unless that was trying to, what he was trying to suss out, but, like, I feel like that would make less sense in this route than him being like, uh -huh, you're Riku's assistant. So, I haven't been to an amusement park in forever. Me neither. I like, again, the glass, you just put sunglasses on, because you know it's hot, you need your sunnies. But that's going to stop people from recognizing him. Like, put your hair up in a tiny little, like, ponytail on the top of your head, like, whoop. Like, just a ridiculous little, like, something. You know what I mean? At least Riku push, puts his hair in his face and puts a mask on and then wears overalls. And I'm assuming nobody would then know, but, you know. We casually chatted as we ate dinner at the bar, then we eventually made our way to the theme park. Sorry, it's gotten so late. Oh, it's no problem at all. I 
checked my phone and it was only 6 p.m. after all. And do you ever go on dates or do fun things with Nishijima? What? Dates? Fun? Uh... <laughs> no need to freak out, Spacey. Sorry, we went to the planetarium once. Oh yeah, it's dark in there, so it's safe as long as no one sees you going in or out. Personally, if the paparazzi ever caught me on a date, I'd just brush it off with a joke. That sounds like something you'd do. But, maybe not this time. Huh? Nothing! Oh. Anyway. Hmm? You look even cuter than usual. Did you dress up for our date? Oh, I'm always like this. Wow! I like the way you try to hide all the effort you put in. And this is how a first date should feel. S Stop it, Sena! You're always... Oh, not tonight. Huh? And this is a date, so no using my last name. It'll ruin the vibes. Call me Yukito. Like friends. Uh, come on, give it a try. Um, well, Yukito? It's so funny that, like, I love this, like, call me Yukito. And she's like, um, like, <laughs> uh, I love it. I really said it. it I just... I love that little cultural difference, you know what I mean? Where, like, you just, you call everyone at work by their first name, and but it's just this little thing with, like, oh my god, that's so awkward. Like, that's adorable. <laughs> nice! It feels like we've gotten closer, right? I think so. Aside from Kazuma, I figured Riku would be the only one I'd be on a first name basis with. Hmm. What's oh, wrong, honey? N nothing. Really? Well, then let's go ride the Ferris wheel. Already? Watching the sunset on a Ferris wheel as we profess our love. This sounds romantic, yeah. I guess, but it's not sunset yet. Was getting locked alone with him so soon? Come on, let's go line up. Hey! He's not even listening. Forget being in a tight space with him. I don't know if I can even keep up with his energy. It's gonna, I really kind of would hope that when we're talking later, we say something and like Riku, blah, blah, blah. And he's like, Riku, huh? Because we've been calling him Nishijima, like when we're in, like we did when he showed up to like save us from Yukito to begin with. And then we say it and he's like, you're on a first name, baby. Are you lovers? I knew it. Like, at first I was nervous about being on the Ferris wheel, of being alone on the Ferris wheel. However, once we got on, Sena only gazed at the view, thoughtful and quiet. Just as our gondola reached the top, the sky started to turn crimson. Oh, look at that sunset. Isn't it beautiful? The view of the reddening sky was truly breathtaking. It is. It's really beautiful. All my pent-up frustration is finally starting to fade. The problem isn't solved, but I'll forget that for now and enjoy the view. You know what? And there's something poignant about an evening at an amusement park. What do you mean? Are you having fun? Huh? I was just wondering if you forced yourself to come. Well, not forced exactly, but that you came only for the learning experience. You look really deep in thought. Whatever the reason, I'm happy you're here, but I want you to enjoy yourself too. And just now... You genuinely smiled. Mina, perhaps I was too worked up about everything with Riku and was overthinking things. Thank you very much, Sena. And not Sena. He's, I like his little mad face. Look at you, you're so cute. I still love you. Uh, y Yukito, thank you. It's getting late, but let's enjoy the time we have left. Not just his looks that make him such a wonderful catch. I could tell he'd been watching me carefully and listening to everything I said. This must be what a real relationship looked like. Two people gradually getting to know each other, slowly falling in love. <laughs> Riku, the worst part about letting us go and being like, yeah, yeah, no, go out with Yukito, right? And pretending you're not interested is like, she's getting this like, oh, so you're just kind of getting to know like he actually, like Yukito's actually really listening to me. He's gorgeous. Like he's such a good catch type of a thing. And then you're comparing it in your head to like, I'm like Riku who just pushed me into a date with another man and is a fucking robot. Like, 
Riku is almost impossible to fall in love with. I mean, I already did in the very beginning, but like, you know, but theoretically for her, Riku's almost impossible to love because he makes it so difficult. You have to have the patience of the saint of a saint to actually deal with that man. But I mean, that's, you know, I love the robot, so of course I'm going to handle it. But like, you know what I mean? Like, for her and him pushing away, you're like, okay, whatever. Like, he's got to come to terms with his own feelings. You know? Once we got off the Ferris wheel, we sat down on a nearby bench to rest. Or we're going to come to terms with our feelings and then be like, I'm sorry, I just, I can't do this because I actually have real feelings for you. And then blah, blah, blah. I know that's not what you want. And then he's going to be like, yes, it is what I want. You know what I mean? And that's going to break him down to admitting. I'm not sure which one of us is going to break down and be like, we have to stop this because I have real feelings now. But it's going to be one of us. Want a snack? I'll wait here and I'll get us some popcorn. Oh, I don't. He looks so eager to go. His eyes are shining like a little kid in a candy shop. Reminds me of Kazuma. I should let him go if he wants to. Okay, then. Yes, please. Alright, I won't be long. Because he's like, this is real date, I want to buy you a snack. Once Yukito ran off, I leaned back on the bench and gazed at the merry-go-round before me. Pretty horses adorned with a range of decorations spun around and around. An assortment of lights lit the pumpkin carriages and the hearts and the heart seats as they glided to the music. Kind of reminds me of the set Riku was building. Would he be able to build things like that too? The image of his face crossed my mind when... My phone suddenly rang, startling me, and I fumbled it out of my pocket. His name was lit up on the screen. Riku? I'd just been thinking about him, so my heart jumped in my chest. I stared at his name a moment longer, then tapped the answer button. Hello? Riku? What's the matter? Is something wrong? Riku? Where are you? Oh, I'm still at the amusement park. I know that. Where in the park are you? Followed us to the fucking amusement park. I kind of like... When they did that pan where they just showed that little bar about like its lower face and just that dot dot dot, I was like, you gonna fucking follow us? He might have followed us after dinner, but he still followed us. On the bench near the merry-go-round? Got it. Don't move. Oh, huh? what? Riku! Why did he tell me not to move? He's not coming here, is he? He's already here. No way. He would never bother. No, but you being on a date with another man is driving him crazy. Couldn't imagine why he'd come to begin with. I tried to convince myself he wouldn't do all that as I stared at my phone, which had been laying in my hand since the call ended. I love this. Hi back, honey. And they had this new orange soda flavored one. Orange soda flavored popcorn? What the fuck? My head shot up and I saw Yukito standing there with his head cocked to the side. And did something happen? Oh, it's nothing. Was the popcorn stand crowded? Hmm, not really, I guess. And they had lots of weird flavors, though. Here you go. Thank you. I popped a few pieces in my mouth, and the most unusual sense of sourness and fizziness spread across my tongue. The popcorn! It's running crazy in my mouth! <laughs> running crazy in your mouth? You're hilarious! It's just gonna boop us on the nose and get real close, and then Rico's gonna just knock him off the bench. This is actually kinda cool! I'm here for this! I want there to be a dramatic, like, You can't have her, she's mine! I need this. B but it is! What a riot. Ever since the camp, I've always thought you were pretty cool, Spacey. I never get bored when I'm with you. I feel really bad about the fact that, like... Okay, normally it's hard when you move from love interest to love interest and see other ones in the background. Because you're like, oh, I miss you. You know what I mean? But, like, Yukito is a really good route. Actually, they've all been fucking great. This game is amazing, okay? Like, 10 out of 10, all these love interests. But, like... Now you're on a date with Yukito and you're like, stop it though! I'm gonna feel really bad that I'm not in love with you in this route. Like, would you stop? <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, this is worse than the, like, you just see him and you're like, oh, sweetie, I miss you. You're like, no, because this game doesn't has a habit of not showing you the other characters in the route for the most part. You know, except for, like, the beginning before you're actually in their route. 
And then, like, but now we're, like, it's not just seeing Yukito hanging around being like, oh, I kind of miss you. You're, like, we're on a date with him. Making it, like, and just dangling him in front of you. Like, look at him. See, he was perfect, right? And you're like, but I love Riku. He's a robot. And, like, it's not that I don't love Yukito, but you can't dangle him in front of me when I'm supposed to be in love with somebody else. <laughs> Stop it. Worse. God damn. And he's so charming. What the shit? Hey, in your game, maybe we can hang out like this more in the future. It'd be fun to go to all sorts of places with you. I have to break his heart, and I hate this. Yukito smiled sweetly as he spoke. He means going on another date, right? Yukito watched me, waiting for an answer. Okay. You know what's so funny? The guide says, why me? <laughs> <laughs> Typo central. With me? With me? I'm assuming that's what she... Yes, oh, there you go. Look, Rico's happy. Yukito leaned in close, coming right up to my face. Oh, this is it. It's gonna get knocked off this bench. Who else would I be talking to? You're the only person with me right now. That's true. Right. And there's only one possible answer when a hottie like me asks you out. Yes. Yes? Exactly. I'm so excited for our next date. Let me know where you want to go. Okay. Where can we go next time? Aquariums and zoos are popular date spots. Or maybe we could go to the movies or the theater. It's just, you know what's even worse? And she's like, yes? Okay. Wait. What? And she has, she's not really processing it fully. And it's going to be like, but I love Riku. Like, the theater... And then, oh, oh, here you go. This is where it's like, wait. The words suddenly reminded me of Riku, and my heart ached. We were supposed to go see that musical together, even if it wasn't exactly a date. By the way, do you ever go to the theater, Yukito? Hmm? Why do you ask? The other day, Ri Nishijima told me that he gave you a ticket to a musical a while back. Oh, yeah, that. Yukito start stare started nodding. Wow, Yukito started nodding, apparently remembering the play. Was the show good? Yeah, I had fun. It was pretty intense. The story was deep, but it was easy to understand. You're a budding screenwriter, so are you interested in theater as well as films? I suppose so. That's part of it. Sorry, I had an itch. The other part is... Hmm. You must be excited to see this play. Huh? You looked happy just now. Really happy. Did I? Never seen him look like that before. Okay, how about this? We'll go see that show for our next date. We'll have the best time ever. Huh? In response to my astonished face, Yukito laughed cheerfully once again. I feel like, I kind of like that they're dragging it on with him being the date and everything like that. But I do think when he like leaned in and like... Oh, a date with me. You're supposed to say yes. And we're like, huh? And then that's when Riku just... I want any Riku to just throw him aside and be like, no! Do something dramatic. Riku, I need you to be dramatic. You're usually so calm, but it's really obvious when you're surprised. Like, for real. But even the extra tickets are almost sold out. I don't think you can get seats anymore. True, but Nishijima looked like he really wanted to go, so I got him two tickets to return the favor. I invited him to watch it together, but... He rejected me. It'd be a shame for them to go to waste, so if you want to go, it'd be perfect. He rejected Yukito because he's like, no, no, I want to see it with Spacey. Oh, oh stop that I love our robot boyfriend. Why did he make us go on a date with Yukito, though, and make me remember how much I love Yukito? But, come on, if you want to go, just say so. Besides, going with you might give me a different perspective on it. Yukito? Yukito's gaze shifted as if something is... I, uh, gaze on... It. <laughs> and I was like, gaze on... What? And then this, and I'm like, oh, oh, this is Riku barreling down. Yukito's gaze shifted as, as if something had caught his attention and he shut his mouth. I turned and looked in the direction he was facing. Spacey. Nishijima? Really came. But why? Um, 
What are you doing here, Nishijima? Apparently I sounded wary because he frowned in frustration. <laughs> I just love this. He came to rescue us, even though we're having a good time with Yukito, but he just came to take us back and I just... And we're like, what the fuck are you doing here? <laughs> oh. I don't know. What? I don't know, but I came to pick you up. What does that mean? You can't do that, Nishijima. She's in the middle of a date with me. Yukito moved forward slightly. He's like, I don't know why I can't. Like, I love that he still doesn't understand his feelings. He just knew he had to get here and stop this date. And he's like, I don't know why. I just, I had to do this. And I, I don't get it. I don't process human emotions normally. I can act them, but feeling them for real is weird. Oh, stop it. But I like that they didn't try to make Yukito like, oh, being a cat or a jerk or anything. Like, he's just his normal sweet self. You know what I mean? Because it would ruin him, you know? And it would also ma it would make it so much easier to be like, oh, you're a dick. Of course I'm going to side with Riku. And now you're like, damn it, Gabe. Why are you going to make this so hard? Of course I'm going to go home with Riku. I love him to death. But like, poor Yukito. Like, if, he'd move, if, he, if he'd moved his arms just a little more, they would have been wrapped around me. We were so close to touching each other. Y Yukito? Ah, are you getting shy now? We had such a good vibe going. We were even planning our next date. That doesn't mean... You've got a bit of popcorn on your lips. Just stay still. I'll get it for you. I wonder if Yukito sensed the vibe. And like, now that Riku showed up, he's like, purposely like... Being pushy like this. Because he's like, Riku needs to snap, because I know he loves you. I know he's into you. Do you do you think Yukito's been fucking conspiring to plan this the whole time? Like, oh, you should go on a date with me! And then Riku's like, yeah, good idea! And then he's like, I'll get you to admit you love her, you son of a bitch. Or I'll take her instead. Like, because like... Instead of just being like, yeah, why are you here? He's like, we're planning our next date. I'm getting close. I'm going to wipe the popcorn off your lip. That's being a little, that's putting a little bit much. Like, he wasn't, he's being a little smarmy now, you know what I mean? And he wasn't like that the whole time. So I definitely feel like this is an act to get Riku to snap. He knows what he's doing. Yukito stretched his hand toward me and... <gasps> Look at Riku! I knew it! I knew there was gonna be, like, a co confrontation! He didn't knock Yukito off the bench, but he's grabbing his hand. Don't touch her. <gasps> oh, and he actually said <laughs> I didn't even read that line when I said, don't touch her. I was, like, thinking that that's what he was- Oh, my God. That's perfect! Ah, oh, shit. Don't touch her. Riku quickly grabbed Yukito's wrist in midair. His expression had none of his usual calmness, nor was it the intense look he gave me when we were alone. I go, but Yukito just laughed, though it sounded hollow. Didn't expect that. I've never seen you like this before. Face it, what me and my woman do is none of your business, is it? In fact, I just got the okay to officially go out with her. So could you not get in the way? What? Who get? Me? Why? What? I looked up and saw Riku's eyes shift. He was still gripping Yukito's arm. I love this because there's such this misunderstanding. And, like, poor Riku's heart is getting crushed right now, and he doesn't even know why. Is that true? It's a misunderstanding. He asked if we could hang out, that's all. Aw, I'm hurt. You promised we'd go to the theater together. I thought that meant we were a thing. I did not! How did it end up like this? Riku's gonna get the wrong idea. Again, I think Yukito... I mean, maybe him asking us to go out again was legit, but this? I feel like he's playing this up for Riku. It's not like that at all. There really was a misunderstanding. Give up on her. Riku? Damn, why are you so persistent? You're an actor and Spacey's just your assistant. And nothing more, right? And the fact that I'm surprised Yukito- You know he heard us call him Riku. You have no right to get between us. Enough. Huh. What's that? 
Yukito sat there smirking, and Riku narrowed his eyes at him. Also, in case you didn't know there was a CG, because I didn't say it. There is one. <laughs> like, did I not say that when it came up? I'm sorry. I usually try to tell you, but I was just so, like, just enamored with this. And he's all intense and grabbing his hand and, like, good God. Riku! I, this route might be my favorite so far. Like, I've loved every single one of them for what they are and, like, the way they, like, the characters are all great. But, like, Riku, goddamn, this, this, you know what? This is, like, the quintessential, like, freaking, like, rom-com kind of plot. But, like, I dig it so much more in this. Because, again, it's that, like, oh, we hate each other. We're just faking it. But, like, we don't hate each other. You know what I mean? Like, they did it so much better. I know I've said that before. But then now him getting a little, like, confrontational. Being like, how dare you touch her? Let her go. Like, oh, stop it. It's so dramatic. I love it. Because you know inside he's still like, I have no idea why I'm saying this, but I just need to say it. Because I can't stand seeing you with Yukito and I don't know why. And you're like, do you have feelings for me? And he's like, oh, shit. Like, I don't know if he fucking knows. Because we were like, why are you here? He's like, I don't know. <laughs> he just had to be there, but he, like, he doesn't know how to process this. So good. You know, we're normally in a rom-com. Like, the guy showing up now would be like, because I love you. But I'm not sure if Riku gets it. I feel like if he spilled it out now, it'd be like, all of a sudden it just comes out and he's like, oh, that's what's happening. Like, I don't think he planned to say it or know he was going to say it or even know what these feelings are right now. But, like, you know what I mean? Like, when it comes out, it's going to be like, oh, shit. Uh, Yukito sat there smirking, and Riku narrowed his eyes at him. He quietly replied, because she's my fiancé. We're like, huh, what? Uh, what? Are you serious? I was panicking, and Yukito sat, stunned. But Riku remained where he stood, stone-faced. It's true, so keep your hands off of her. But... Dear fiancé, Spacey, do you have your ring with you? I do. Ring? I like an engagement ring. Also, Yukito has to be like, why the fuck did you tell her to go out with me? What else would it be? Due to my situation, I asked her to keep our engagement a secret. Now do you understand? Yukito's like, no, because none of that makes any sense. You told her to go out with me? Like, don't you think that's dangerous? And your girlfriend willingly agree? Like, we could have just been like, oh, sorry, I have a boyfriend. Oh, you do? Who? Oh, nobody you know. <laughs> that's simple. Like, this <laughs> Yukito's in there in his brain going, this makes no fucking sense. This is the part that doesn't make sense. But again... Sometimes you gotta set up stuff. You gotta set up Riku coming. So, of course, it's not gonna make sense. It makes sense for the overall plot with Riku being like, Yeah, no, I don't care. And then being like, Yes, I do. But logically, if she had a real fiancé and then we had to keep the secret, let's say this was legit and not fake, right? You, Riku, wouldn't tell your girl to go out with another man to keep it secret. We would have just been like, I have a boyfriend, done. Not mentioning that it's Riku. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Yukito appeared to think for a moment. Then he brushed Riku's hand off and stared at him. I'm going to save because we have a pretend time coming up. And I just feel like it might be in here. Because, like, it's going to be like, how did you meet type of a thing? Like, I don't think Yukito believes us. And this is when we have pretend times. So, yeah. I sat there frozen, ring in hand, trying to clear my confusion. I hadn't expected Riku would reveal our engagement. I was the only one spooked, whereas the two of them silently glared at each other. It might have only lasted mere seconds, but to me, it felt like it had been minutes. Perhaps it felt so long because the sun sank below the horizon at that moment, casting them in shadow briefly, then bright neon. The lights of the rides lit their slender silhouettes. While I tried to focus on anything other than reality, Yukito broke the tension and the volatile silence. Ah, you really can't act out any scene you have in mind. I'm almost jealous. 
What are you implying? It's simple. You and Spacey aren't dating or engaged or anything like that. Spacey isn't that forthcoming, and you're a brick wall when it comes to this stuff. But the fact you're so possessive of her... It gives me the impression you're using her for something. Yukito looked at Riku with doubt, but Riku snickered mockingly at him. Um, but that's absolutely what's happening here. You really won't let this go. She's a good woman. I can't just ignore it if she's being exploited. I kinda am, but Riku being possessive over me has nothing to do with him exploiting me to be a fake fiancé. He came storming in here because he is jealous. But it's kind of funny that Yukito's like, ah, you're just pretending to be jealous. But if we were only faking it, he wouldn't care that I was going out with you. Or he would have told you right off the bat, oh, she's my fiance, she can't go out with you. You know what I'm saying? So, like, I mean, Yukito's not wrong, but also you are wrong because Riku really is jealous. He wasn't faking that. Huh. I don't care what kind of conspiracies you cook up. What could, what use could I possibly have for her? Hey, I cook for you and maybe I'm good at other stuff. We don't know. Oh, I don't know. Maybe an audition for a certain kind of movie. What a vulgar notion. They continued to maintain eye contact and stood their ground. Can't help but notice that Riku is lost for words. It was true. We weren't engaged, and Riku really was using me. Everything Yukito had said is completely true. But Riku couldn't admit that now. If it got to the point where Riku had no choice but to reveal everything, Riku would have to explain his goals, dreams, and his plans. He couldn't do that. I had to do something. Okay, this is where we're going to get our pretend time, so I'm going to save over so we don't have to skip as much next time. I have to do something, which is admit. Okay. We're always... Get to the pretend time right at the end of the fucking part, don't we? And it's like, real or not, I'm still his fiance. Yeah, it's gonna. Okay, you know what though? Um, I think because these are gonna take a few minutes. It's gonna take at least like five to ten minutes. The last time we did this, it we were like. 20 minutes fucking over, but I don't think it was all because of this, but there's always a little bit afterward and whatever. And we're like almost a dime. So I'm going to stop here. So save the game. Yes. I already saved so we can skip the pretend time in the bad endings or whatever. Uh, whichever one, this one is bad or good ending, whichever. But, uh, yeah, that was a lot of us and whichever's good God. I'm going to stop here and we're going to do the pretend time when we start in the next part. So, I will see you guys next time. Sorry for cock blocking you a little here. Remember to give the video a big thumbs up and subscribe to see more.